Hello there, and welcome to Foam Quest. In today's episode, we will be flashing back to the Nerf Alien Menace Voidcaster. This blaster is very unique for a variety of reasons. Now, first off, the blaster was a part of the Alien Menace line, which only consisted of three blasters, and they all were exclusives to Toys R Us. Now, besides the Voidcaster, there is the Incisor, which is a cylinder-fed flywheel blaster, and then there's the Ravager. Another thing that makes the Voidcaster very unique is that this blaster is double action, meaning the trigger primes and fires the blaster. This is a pretty rare mechanism in Nerf. Other blasters that have used this technology include the Snapfire 8 from the Dart Tag line, the Super Soaker Dart Fire, and the Zombie Strike Survival System Nail Biter. But with all those other double action blasters, they're actually doing more than just priming and firing the blaster. They're either rotating a cylinder or indexing a clip. The really cool thing about the Voidcaster is because of its smart ARs, this one has a very smooth trigger pull. The Voidcaster is covered in this really cool aesthetic. We have multiple textures, multiple colors. It just looks very nice. Let's crack this thing open and talk more about it. Included in the box is of course the Voidcaster itself, and we also get eight Alien Menace Elite Darts. Now the Voidcaster is very simple, but let's go over the blaster. Loading darts is super simple. This is a front loader and it is a smart AR blaster, so that means any dart that you put in is going to fire regardless of its position. Towards the very bottom of the blaster, we have this kind of flexible plastic, which could be used as a sling mount. Then on the right and the left, we have storage for four elite darts. Now the blaster only comes with eight. It really should have come with 12. The darts are actually held in surprisingly well. Like I said earlier, the blaster is double action, so there is no priming, no batteries. Basically, you just pull the trigger and that primes and fires the blaster. Now we're gonna take this 2017 blaster outside and grab some numbers. We will be using the included Alien Menace Elite Darts. 58. Error. 58. And 35. Let's fire the other four. 60. 57. Duplicate 57. And 44. Honestly, for a double action blaster, that is not too bad. The blaster fires the leftmost dart first, and then it goes all the way to the right barrel. The leftmost barrel was definitely hitting the hardest as high as 60, and then the rightmost barrel is definitely weaker. Now let's take some shots downrange. Now the Elite Darts and the Smart AR system makes this pretty inconsistent, but it is a very fun blaster. So what are my general thoughts on the Nerf Alien Menace Voidcaster? Now this is not a very practical blaster, this is really meant for casual nerf and general fun. The firing performance isn't amazing, but definitely on par or even better sometimes than the other double action blasters. The double action system is definitely very cool, firing with one hand is very easy with this blaster. The Voidcaster was released in 2017 and is now discontinued. It's really too bad that the Alien Menace line was so short-lived. In my opinion, the aesthetics of the Alien Menace line are absolutely awesome. Overall, I think the Voidcaster is really cool, and if you're a fan of double action blasters and you come across this thing thrifting, I could definitely recommend it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Nerf Flashbacks. As always, have a good one, and happy nerfing.